on social, I want to talk to you a little bit about the different scenarios that are unlikely but possible with Elsa. Now, what you're seeing here is my preferred model here. This is the North American model. It will be coming from the south and west, crossing over Cape May County and making its way somewhere around Brigantine at 5 a.m. Now, remember, Sandy, Faye, and Irene all made landfall somewhere between Brigantine and Holgate. This one isn't necessarily making landfall, but it's still passing over the same area. So what happens if the track goes to the west or to the east? Well, let me explain. If we have a track further west, let's say it goes over to New Jersey Turnpike, your flooding rain threat increases as you go inland, but decreases at the shore. If it goes further offshore out to sea even, well, then the flooding rain threat is limited right to the island. So that would be some good news. In terms of the wind threat, Wind threat's likely the same if it's around the turnpike, but if it's further offshore, our strongest winds are always on the east side of the storm, so our wind threat does decrease unless it literally goes right up the coast. Now, in terms of the tornado risk, further west, the higher tornado risk there will be. So if that track is further west, tornado risk will be higher because that tornado threat will move inland and it'll still be present at the shore. If it stays offshore, that tornado threat lowers and could even go away completely. So wanted to give you an idea of what is in the realm of possibility. I still like my forecast I told you in the video as well as in the article earlier today, but there you go. Just want to give you an update here. We'll keep you tracking on this storm as we go on throughout the news.